Hi, I'm Tom, and welcome to Alley Picked. I love the bald eagle. In fact, here's one I made in foundry class when I was in high school. This bird and I have a lot in common. First of all, we both lack a little hair on top. <coughs> Secondly, eagles feast on trash. And me? I feast on trash that people throw away by making cool stuff out of their junk. These birds also have great eyesight. They can spot their prey up to two miles away. Me? I can spot a good alley pick up to two miles away. So today, I'm going to honor this bird with a special wood carving. This was my first eagle wood carving. I use a technique called chip carving, where I take out chips of the wood, in this case, in the shape of the feathers. But I wanted to improve on this. I want to do more of a relief type carving. So I bought a new piece of basswood from Michaels, and I found a really cool picture of a bald eagle from a kid's magazine. The only problem is it's a little bit too small for the wood. So using my printer copier, I enlarged the image to 150%. I'm gonna transfer that to the wood. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I'm just sort of winging it. To transfer the image, I'm using graphite paper. I secured the image on top of the graphite paper and traced all of the lines around each of the feathers. Even though the basswood is softer than pine, it's important to keep your carving knife extremely sharp. I do this by taking a few passes on each side of the blade, first with 1500 grit sandpaper, then 2000. I follow this up by stropping with a piece of leather. Once the blade is sharp, it only takes a few passes to keep it sharp. I'm using a bandsaw to cut the outside shape. You can also use a scroll saw. A jigsaw will also work. And if you're a glutton for punishment, you can use one of these. I'm cutting a space between the feathers on a slight angle to make it look like the feathers are layered. Keep a steady hand and apply equal pressure. Keep the blade moving and with a little practice you can get the hang of it pretty quickly. Some 180 grit sandpaper does a nice job to round off the sharp edges left by the knife. Don't rush this part. If you mess up the eye, you mess up your eagle. The eagle's back has all these tiny layered feathers, which would be a bit too challenging for me. So I've decided to redraw these into some larger ones. The technique I'm using here is layering colors using watered down paint. This is watered down black and it's going to look a little bit darker than the brown but yet the brown will bleed through. It gives it a nice look. I also use a drop of watered down gray for the white tail feathers since those aren't really completely white.
Are you ready for the big reveal? Not bad for just winging it. This is proof that when you set your mind to doing something, even if it's difficult, you could probably come out with a good outcome. I could have just mounted this bird on the wall, but I thought it was a nice touch to put it on this barnwood shelf and then slap a couple hooks on it. I had these hooks for years, didn't even know what I was gonna use them for until now. After cutting out the eagle shape, it took me about four days to cut all 358 feathers. And it'll take me about another four days to get rid of this pain in my hand. Well, thanks for watching Alley Picked. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Alley Picked. Until next time, I'll meet you in the alley.